Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Steven, and today I wanna to show you how to do this. Now, I know that this looks like a mess, but believe it or not, this is actually a really useful trick that comes in handy when you are pulling wire. And so today in this video, I wanna show you guys how to do this, which is daisy chaining wire, show you why it's useful, and then explain some different situations where I personally really like to use this in. Now the first thing that I want to do is actually give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is a company that I'm a huge fan of called Upstrive. Now for you guys that don't already know, Upstrive is an online tutoring company that is specifically for tradesmen. And with them you get to have a personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring experience. Now what's really cool is Upstrive's instructors are either retired trade professionals or still actively working in the field. And they specialize in exam preparation for electrical contractors, general contractors, and tons of other trades. As a student, you can just go to their website using the link that I put up in the description, select your trade, and then they're gonna match you with a perfect instructor. And if you already have your license, love to teach, and wanna work from home, then you can become a tutor for Upstrive yourself and make some extra money. So if you guys are trying to get your electrical license and pass your trade state licensing exam, then you gotta check out Upstrive today. All right, so the first thing I wanna do here is show you guys how to daisy chain your wire. And so I'm gonna start off just like how I normally would, which is by pulling wire off the spool. All right, so I have my wire, have my head made up, not doing anything fancy with the head, but basically I'm gonna pretend like I'm doing a 30 foot wire pull. And so I'm gonna spool off 30 feet. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet of wire. All right, quick side note for you newer apprentices out there. So I'm six feet tall, which makes my arm span also about six feet. But you heard me when I was spooling off my wire, I was counting in fives. Five, 10, instead of counting in sixes, six, 12 and so on. And so the reason why I went ahead and did that is because now I know when I actually go to pull my wire in that I'm gonna have a little bit of extra just in case I miscalculated in the raceway that I'm pulling my wire into was a little bit longer than I thought. You just don't ever wanna be in a situation where you cut your wire and it actually ended up being a little too short because then you have to scrap it and then you have to pull in a whole bunch of new wire. Basically, it's just cheap insurance to go ahead and pull in you spool off a little bit of extra wire in the beginning because then you're gonna be covered in case you miscalculated the length of your raceway. So there's that. All right, so now that we have our wire spooled off, this is the moment that you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna show you guys how to finally make this daisy chain. So you're gonna take your wire and make a loop with it. Once you have a loop made, you're gonna take your tape and you're gonna just tape up the ends. Just wrap it around a couple times. Maybe leave a little buddy tag. Okay, now you have your loop made. Now what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna reach through and you're gonna grab your wire. Okay, and then you're gonna pull that through the first loop. So you see here now I have two loops. And so this is when a pattern starts and this pattern is really what makes up the entire daisy chain. So what I'm gonna do is let go of the old, hold on to the new, reach through the new loop, grab my wire, pull through. Let go of the old, hold on to the new, reach through the new, grab my wire, pull through. Let go of the old, hold on to the new, reach through the new, grab my wire, pull through. Let go of the old, hold on to the new, reach through the new, grab my wire, pull through. And really that's all there is to it. You're just gonna repeat this over and over again until you get to the very end of your wire. And this might seem a little confusing at first, you guys, but honestly, the more that you just practice it and use it out in the field, just like anything else, the easier this is gonna get. And once you have it down, it's kind of hard to forget how to do. So, there we go. Nice daisy chained wire. All right, you guys, so now that you have your wire daisy chained, there's one last step that's pretty important to make sure that your whole daisy chain doesn't just come undone. And so you're gonna wanna take some tape and you're gonna wanna tape your last loop around the wire. Okay, just like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
maybe another buddy tag isn't a bad idea. And then once you have your length, then at this point you could just take your cutters and cut your wire. All right, you guys, so for the sake of not wasting wire in this video, I'm actually just gonna set that aside and I'm not gonna cut it. And I'm just gonna go back to this wire that I was using in the beginning of the video, which is scrap wire that we weren't using. And so what I want you guys to do though is just pretend that this here is the end that we just cut. This is the end that we just cut, so this is the last piece of tape that you put on. So I think that's a really good idea to go ahead after you put that last piece of tape on to make sure this doesn't come undone. Right start on that piece of tape because right here, this end is actually gonna be the end that you're gonna be pulling your wire in from. So here's what's really cool about the daisy chain is once you're ready to finally pull in your wire and you have your start end tied onto your fish tape or your string or however you're gonna pull it in and you undo this piece of tape that you put on, then your whole daisy chain is just going to effortlessly come undone. It's not gonna knot, you're not gonna have any issues. You don't need to worry about anything like that and it's gonna pull in and unspool like a dream. Pretty sweet. So now that you guys know how to make a daisy chain and you can see why it's useful, I wanna to explain to you guys the different situations that I commonly will use this in that just make it a really awesome and useful trick. So the first situation where I like to use the daisy chain is pretty self-explanatory. If I'm ever in a situation where I'm just unable to bring my spools of wire, it's just not convenient, or maybe even I just don't wanna bring the whole wire spool with me, then it's really quick and easy to just cut off what I need and make a daisy chain. Because as I'm carrying this to wherever I'm gonna pull it, I really don't need to worry about it getting knotted up or anything. And as soon as I take off that piece of tape, like I showed you, it's gonna unspool nice and easy. Another scenario where I really like to use this trick is if you ever find yourself in a situation where you are unable to finish a wire pull and you have to come back at a later time to finish pulling your wire in. So about a week ago here at the hospital, we were pulling dedicated circuits in to each of the ICU patient rooms. And we pulled into room one, two, three, four, and got all the way to patient room number 13. And basically patient rooms number 14, 15, and 16 were occupied and so we weren't able to get into those rooms to finish pulling our wire all the way to the end. So rather than leaving our wire spools set up over the weekend and being in people's ways, what we ended up doing was just pulling enough wire that we needed to reach to the very last patient room, cut our wire, got our spools out of the way, and then we just daisy chained our wire. You know, taped it up, pull through, pull through, pull through, and then we put it up on top of the grid in uh, patient room number 13 closed up the grid and then walked away. And then when we came back to work on Monday, pop up in the ceiling, pull down our wire, undo the daisy chain and it you know, came undone, really great, there was no knots or anything and then we just finished pulling our wire in on Monday. So that is a really great scenario to use this trick if you ever have to walk away and finish pulling your wire in at another time. Another situation where this is a really nice trick is if you're ever having to pull wire by yourself or feed wire by yourself. So let me explain another situation that we were in last week here at the hospital where I used this trick again. So basically David, my foreman, was pulling the wire in to the ICU patient rooms and I was feeding it to him. And basically we were feeding the wire through a 10 by 10 box up in the ceiling and I was up on an eight foot ladder. So what I would do is spool off my wire, climb up, feed my wire to him, climb back down, spool off more wire, climb back up rinse and repeat and it got to a point where that just didn't make sense to keep climbing up climbing down unspooling and so what i eventually just did was i pulled off you know 50 60 70 feet however much more wire we needed to make it to the end of our pole and i did a daisy chain i just daisy chained all that wire up set it down at the base of my ladder so then when i was up at the top of my ladder feeding the wire in all of the wire was just coming undone perfectly from the daisy chain and I was able to feed it into him without having to keep getting up and down from the ladder and it just saved a ton of time. So that's kind of a more unique situation where you can use this in, but if you're comfortable with this trick, then you're gonna find ways to use it and it's gonna save you some time. Now, I'm not gonna pretend like I use this trick every single day. Most of the time, probably 90 to 95% of the time, I'm just gonna be pulling wire off a spool just like anybody else would. But there's definitely those unique situations where using the daisy chain trick can save you some time and just make your life a whole lot easier. 
Now, I just want to acknowledge this because I know there's probably going to be some comments about it. I know that most people probably just coil up their wire like this and it works great. It works just fine to get your wire from point A to point B and get it pulled in. But what I have found is in most situations, especially when you're dealing with much longer wire lengths, like 50, 60, 70, 100 feet, however long it is, uh, using the daisy chain method is going to make sure that you don't get any knots, that nothing gets tangled up, and that it gets pulled in fairly easily. Whereas sometimes when you do this way, uh, the wire gets tangled up and that can be pretty frustrating. So, but in a lot of situations, this works great too. All right, you guys, well, that is it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful. If you did, would you just go ahead and do all those youtube -y things, like, subscribe, share, all that. It just helps my channel to grow a ton. And I just wanna give one more thank you to Upstrive for sponsoring this video. They're an awesome company. If you guys haven't checked them out yet, please do. There's a link to the website up in the description. And then last but not least, if you guys are interested in following me in my day-to-day -day life as a sustaining electrician here at a hospital, then make sure to follow me on my Instagram page. And there's also a link to that up in the description. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a good one.